Okay. Itamex Kanatuni. Good morning. It is almost 11 o'clock in the a.m. on Saturday, July 17, 2021. Halfway through the month of July. In the lunar cycle Okonokist, Otsitsitspi, when the Saskatoon berries ripen. Halfway through the Blackfoot summer. <laughs> and I am here in the wet meadows of Spopikimi, standing on the big old beaver lodge. Um, I came out here this morning to check on the status of this plant, the wild mint that grows out here, and see whether it's ready. Uh, my girls want to go harvesting this weekend, get a little bit of mint, maybe a little bit of berries. Uh, sweet grass would be nice, but I don't know if we're going to go to the south end of the reserve or not. So, I thought I'd check out here, mint-wise, um, but I do notice that people, when I, you know, I don't know if it's because of me or what, but I've noticed that some of the plants that are abundant here, that are good edibles, like the asparagus, for instance, are just being totally over-harvested by people. The morel mushrooms, I didn't even find a single morel this year because I've, I've I, well, one day I even encountered a woman out here just harvesting clean the whole place as much as she could of asparagus. Um, whatever, but, but uh, when I harvest something, I don't take that much, hey? Anyway, um, out here checking on the plant, it's looking good, but the pond, on the other hand, is not. It's very dry, and I realize I need to give you guys some updates. What's happening out here in nature? I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately, for good reason. Well, good reason by by my reckoning. Might not be good reason by a viewer's reckoning, because if you are waiting for my shows, um, They've been kind of few and far between lately. They've been maybe weekly, if that. And uh, I'll tell you, mainly that's because I've been spending most of my free time uh, with my friend Brittany, who doesn't necessarily want all of her afternoons <laughs> video recorded. Um, but, you know, she goes on snake calls and such with me, so she's got to tolerate being part of my public world to some extent <laughs> but other than that no she's she and I have just been hanging out and cruising in the afternoons and stuff after work uh, she's my friend Cass's baby sister and uh, I'm, I've been willing to make the trade-off in terms of video production because I enjoy spending the time with her so tomorrow probably her and Cass and Chels will all go out maybe even Cody a little girl go out and do some harvesting so we may come out here we may not I don't know but by the time this video is up it won't matter anyway we'll have, we'll have come and gone and gotten what we needed <laughs> and hopefully I'll have given you the update that you all need especially with the snakes I know everybody loves the rattlesnakes and of course I've been recording all the rattlesnake footage so uh, I'll, I'll be feeding you some of that today and we might or most likely are gonna get some live calls today too um, I don't know, but yeah, let's get into it and I'll show you what's been going on in my world last week or so. Hi, I have Ryan on the line. Go ahead. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Ryan. Hey. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Hey. How are you? Uh, yeah, so good to talk to you, except we're a little scared of this right now. <laughs> oh yeah, you got a rattlesnake, eh? Yeah, it's, it's not like a big one. It's Baby at home, we don't really want it to stay there. <laughs> okay, what's your address? Not too surprising that we should get a rattlesnake call this time of the morning. That has been the pattern of late, the last couple of weeks in the hot, hot weather. And I'm sure it will continue. Right now is the mating season for the rattlesnakes. So there are, uh, although I haven't found any mating yet this year, we are in, the, in that time frame. Um, lunar-wise and summer-wise and all of that. 
So uh, there are females moving around and males following them, but I'm still picking up young snakes too. It has been really the year of the young snakes. I'm still picking up a lot of uh, neonates even. So yeah, 9.30 till about noon, I've been getting calls in the morning and then the day's heat sets in. Really no animals want to be out in that heat, including the snakes. Uh, so my afternoons are quiet, leaving me to my, my free time, which has been fun. And then in the evenings, maybe another round of calls, snake calls around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the evening. So I'm going to play a few of the clips uh, that I've collected from this week as I make my way to the current call and then uh, we'll transition back into the day and I'll show you what I'm dealing with this morning here. Okay. The bottom step. Okay. It's on the concrete underneath. Right there. Oh yeah. Okay. getting a call every day or so. Hey you, what you doing? You're not supposed to be in the neighborhood. That's off limits. It's okay. You do got a rattlesnake. Yeah, that's a rattlesnake. I was, I was. You were sure it was gonna be. A I bull was snake. sure it was gonna be a bull snake, yeah. and probably the one that I released in the wilderness park just maybe a day or two ago or whatever. I thought for sure. Where are you going? Well, he said he thinks he's out of here. It was on the road yesterday. Was he? Oh, so he's been lingering around. It was on the road yesterday, and so I took a snow brush and kind of smoothed him off. And uh, he went into the trees here, and I just thought it was going to go away. So Coming back that way. <laughs> <laughs> Very warm and. Uh, Warm and active. You're nice and warm from sitting in the sun. Yeah. What do you normally put them? Somewhere in the bank where you put Well, where I'm, where I'm supposed to put them, as per my permit, is back at the nearest winter hibernacula. Where is that? Well, that's the question. Over here, this kind of, this neighborhood's pretty new, so we haven't really learned this, the rattlesnake dens over here that these guys are coming out of so you know I'll probably just move him down into the wilderness park and hope that he finds his way to his den they're 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 strongly attached to their um well to their locale well their their birth den okay and if you move them out of there <coughs> research shows that they just spend the rest of the season trying to find their way like a lost dog okay trying to find their way home you know oh, yeah. and the uh, mortality rate is really high so since 
since the whole point of this is conservation of the species, they, they make me bring them back to the nearest known, known den. Even though sometimes that's like 100 meters behind the house where I catch them at, you know, on occasion. <laughs> Lawnmower again? Yeah. I want to make sure I don't. Make sure I don't. Is she back behind the shovel again? Yeah, behind the blue shovel. Alright, cool. Gonna go that way. Sorry, not today. Yeah, but she's all like moving fast like this. It's hard to catch her on the hook. Being all warm. Come on. What? 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 not participating very well there you go <laughs> that was a shitty job really but <laughs> but she's in the bucket either way oh hey thank you so so much yeah no worries i was just releasing a snake when i got your call so it's uh it's a busy evening yeah. A little bit. And this one has been very docile. Yeah. It's right in the corner there now. Okay. Very good. Hello. Hi. Hey. So whereabouts is the rattlesnake? He's right down. You see him? There he is. See the bush there? Oh yeah. Oh nice. No, not at all. Can you get him? No, not at all. Nobody's gonna believe this. I can't believe it myself. <laughs> Just last week we had a raccoon here too. Oh yeah. Living living by the coolie nature, hey? I guess so. It's I a good love size, it here, but it's a good sized snake. He is, he is, isn't he? Yeah. We used to farm at seven persons, so I I you know I've had a lot of rattlesnake. We had some rattlesnakes, yeah. Oh, okay. start it. Huh? Why can't I get a good picture? There, yeah. Yeah, see if I can get a different angle and get a no, handling, handling photo No, you're fine. It's my, my picture-taking abilities. 
I just, I have a grandson and I thought, well, we need Here to take go. him. Oh, gee. I didn't get it. Sorry. Okay. Oh, great. Thank you. <laughs> oh. You think he's a good size one? Oh, yeah, that's a nice mature snake. Mm. Well, last I saw him, he went behind that one. The pallet? Cut, cut tire, like just on the back side. Okay. And I didn't see him go beyond that. Oh, okay. Decent sized snake. So. so he's he's in there under the pallet. Somewhere is about here, hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was <yep> <laughs> That's a big guy. Yeah, cool. I think I got a chest too. Yeah. We picked it up at a house yesterday or something last night. <laughs> Guys, that's pretty big. <laughs> that's gopher fed. Definitely tell the gopher fed snakes. <laughs> Just under your car? Okay. Oh, he's right here. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, it's okay. I, I, I'm sorry it took so long. I'm way over on the north side, so it's a, it's a little bit of a drive and stuff. But that's okay. Get you out this late. But, oh know. no, I've got two simultaneous calls out here. Oh, oh really? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the one yesterday, the neighbor there, that. I clipped was it dead by the time you got there? Um. The one Mike. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? No. Yeah, he's all Maybe. upset. Maybe. Make sure. Uh, <laughs> feisty little guy. Yeah, feisty for sure. Just the this year. Oh, there you go. A yearling? Oh, yeah. No, no, he's had, I'm not a yearling. He's probably a three year old snake, but oh, yeah, he's very upset. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was, well, he was listening mighty. to the water and yeah, I, I, I didn't think too much on it. Meditating over here. And yeah. yeah. Waiting, <laughs> well, he's, he's probably waiting for mice to come. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I suppose, right? Because he was on the pavement here and then. To kind of shoot them over I've there. been walking stuff. Oh. Should I have another one? Yeah, I've got another one to go to right away. Uh -huh. in, in this neighborhood as well? Uh, Canyon Crest Point, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't bring them away further when you catch them. <laughs> yeah. You can't bring them away right back. Two, oh good. They're probably mating. There's got one here. Yeah. And then there's one in the backyard. Okay. Yeah, it's that it's that season. Let's see what we got. see if we got male and female or what. The other one does look bigger. Yeah. It's kind of this one's hard to tell the, the the sex. Sometimes they're like really a darker greener, and they're females, and their tails are kind of short, stubby after their. And the males are always longer tail and more yellow snake, you know. Let me see if I can go get our eyes on the back of the other one. All right, cool. Yeah, this one, this girl's a little in between. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I 
Snakes are ready to go. One was just about to climb his way out. I think this is a female. Yeah, short stubby tail, ornery. That's a female right there. What about you? You're kind of short stubby tail and ornery too. I think you might both be females. Nah, this is a male. Look at the tail. Tail of a male. Hey, Go over here so she don't bite you. She's all feisty over there. Yeah, you're kind of feisty too. Well, I'd be pissed off if I got interrupted like that as well. They were no doubt looking for each other or just uh, had found each other at that residence. The den site is within my view from here, so this is familiar territory to them, and uh, they'll be able to find their way where they need to go. So, back off to the north side to return a trap, then to the south side to set one, and we'll see, there may be more snakes. day now and Mrs. Noppy has decided to join me on the road. We went and set a couple of skunk traps and now we're just kind of cruising the wilderness park looking at the berry situation which looks very good. <laughs> you think I tell terrible jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got lots and lots of currents here. Actually, we should <coughs> we should spin over to Pavan Park and look at how the Saskatoons are doing. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, let's see how they're doing. <coughs> Cause uh, <coughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I put a new Simba court in here, a new uh, a new puffer for my asthma. <coughs> Um, anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll scoop down to Pavan Park, check out their berry situation. I'm looking for the male deer that we've been sighting this week that has the wonky antler, but I'm not seeing him. It's probably just way too hot right now. It's 32 degrees Celsius, and our deer and our humans and every other animal are not used to this here. So I think they're bedded down in the shade and hide it. That's what I should be doing. <laughs> Pretty thick in the bush. <laughs> Our patch of mint he's standing beside.
Get in our mints. Get in our mints. Yeah. And this is the bag I've got. This is the bag we keep. 